and this nugget will start our discussion about CME or Call Manager Express. With CME, we have a lot of the functionality that we have in CUCM, but it's all running on the ISR or on the router itself. With CME, we have a lot of the same functionality that we have in CUCM in regards to call processing, but it's running on the local router. So in this nugget, we'll talk about Call Manager Express, the differences between CME and CUCM, and also the different deployment options that we have. Cisco Unified Communication Manager Express. Also, you see the abbreviation as many of us know it as CME, or you may see it as CU CME. So when it comes to Call Manager Express and CUCM Unified Communication Manager, there's a lot of similarities. We have call processing. We also have features such as hung groups. We have call parks, so we're able to park calls. We have paging. We have the ability to do conferencing, but this is a very short list of the many features that both Call Manager Express and CUCM have the ability to give to your environment. So here we have CUCM and these phones can actually register to the CUCM node as we've seen before. With Call Manager Express, this is actually running off a router itself, preferably an ISR, and ISR stands for Integrated Service Router, CME software, and the call processing is actually happening on the router itself. So these phones have the ability to register to the router. So when it comes to CUCM, it is GUI based. When it comes to CME, it's mainly command line. Now with some versions, you have the option for a GUI, but most of us who administer CME do it from the command line. Now CUCM has more features available to it. Okay, it, it's a full fledged solution in regards to an enterprise where CME has core features, but some of the advanced features you will only find on CUCM. With CUCM, this is a multi-site solution where CME, since it's installed on the router itself, it's really a per site solution. So with CUCM, you can have multiple CUCM servers and you can have many sites. Your infrastructure actually register or talk to one of these communication servers, therefore making it really scalable. Now with CME, it's not that scalable as we discussed, is because we have to install and run this application off the router itself. So if you had multiple sites, like in this example here, we would have to run CME on each site. So taking that one step further, if we had multiple sites, each having CME installed, then we have to manage each CME instance separately, which is in regard to dial plan, directory numbers, e-phones, compared to CUCM where this is run off the publisher node and then we have subscribers that gets replicated to all of the subscriber nodes within your infrastructure. Where CUCM is considered an enterprise solution, Call Manager Express, it's good for smaller deployments. Make some room here. Where exactly could you see Call Manager Express deployed? In one of our environments, we had our, our local government building, but we had many fire stations throughout the county. So at that time, we installed Call Manager Express on each one of those ISRs that were located at those fire stations, therefore giving them local processing or local call processing, and each ISR had connectivity to the PSTN via FSO ports. So the beauty of this is that it had no dependency on the main site because in the event they lost connectivity to the main site, they still had that local processing, so the phones would remain registered, and they had connectivity out to the PSTN via the FXO ports. But that's one example where we've used Call Manager Express before in the past. So when it comes to many deployments today, you may see CUCM deployed at one data center. Let's say this was headquarters. This was branch one. So all phones would register to CUCM, one of the nodes within that cluster. Then the other remote offices would come across the WAN, so using a layer three device, and therefore having connectivity to that CUCM cluster so those endpoints can register and have all those features that CUCM can provide. And today that's how CUCM is deployed a lot without the presence of CME whatsoever. So when you have CUCM, there is a need to have connectivity over to the PSTN and that's done by a separate voice gateway or it could be a cube, but that will give you connectivity to the PSTN or to the ITSP. With Call Manager Express installed, it itself could terminate that connection to the PSTN or the ITSP. So that's another key difference when it comes to CME versus CUCM. So today, a lot of folks deploy CUCM without the need 
or requirement for CME. So they may have phones at their headquarters register over to CUCM or one of its subscriber nodes that could be located in a data center. Then other phones at remote offices would have WAN connectivity across a layer three device and therefore be able to register to CUCM to take advantage of the features and also be part of that infrastructure. But this requires that all your remote offices have some type of WAN connectivity to wherever your CUCM servers are located. Now back to my example where these were firefighters or fire stations, you could have a bulk of your users, those folks that are not firefighters, right? At the main site, connect to CUCM and register and have that call processing there. And each fire station could have a router with CME and this router has connectivity over to the PS10 or ITSP and these phones local to this fire station have the ability to actually register to call manager express that's located on that router. At this point, this WAN connection would only be used when phone A wants to contact phone B, for example, at your main site. Now, another deployment option that you may have, let's say you have a CUCM cluster, all your phones can register to this CUCM cluster, even at your remote sites. In this diagram, I only have one, but imagine if you had many, but this router here can offer SRST functionality. And SRST stands for Survivable Remote Site Telephony. And what SRST is, is a slimmed down version of Call Manager Express. So it doesn't support all the features of Call Manager Express. And you may ask, well, why is it some of the features? The reason being, SRST is intended for a short term solution. For what? Let's say you had an issue with your WAN. So you lost connectivity to your CUCM cluster. So at this point, your phones at these local sites can then fail over to that local router running SRST and still give them functionality. In regards to call processing, and if you had a connectivity out to the PSTN, then at that point, your users here can still make outbound calls out to the PSTN. Let me change that color. Outbound calls out to the PSTN. And they could also, if you had a DID block, have numbers come into that site, even though they've lost connectivity or WAN connectivity to your CUCM cluster. And then what happens if this WAN connection is restored? Then at that point, once the connection is restored, then your phones here register back or fail over back to your CUCM cluster. So SRST is the answer if you have remote sites that depend on that connectivity out to the PSTN and you don't want to be down hard in the event that there's an issue or if your WAN connection is down. Those are some of the deployment options that we have with Call Manager Express, but as we indicated earlier, Call Manager Express runs on that router. This is a good stopping point. In the next nugget, we'll talk about CME in regards to the versions of, of CME that are out there, how we determine what version of CME we are going to run, and some of the things we have to plan for if we do truly want to deploy CME in our environment. In this nugget, we start our discussion about Call Manager Express. We saw the differences between Call Manager and CUCM. And we also spoke about different deployment options where we could leverage CME to either run call processing locally at other sites, or we can use it as a backup solution in the event that the WAN connection to either a corporate site or a main data center was down. I hope it's been informative for you. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in an IT career or looking to brush up your IT skills, check out cbtnuggets.com and sign up for a free trial.